And she does No, no. Let's have it too, true or false. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, in the latter part of the Cretaceous period, Dromaeosaurids ruled the land using their speed, agility, and vicious hunting techniques. Today, we invite the bravest among you to encounter the mightiest theropod of 75 million years ago, the Velociraptor. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Raptor Encounter. My name is Jennifer. I'm a dinosaur handler here at Jurassic World. Now, this kind of training is an integral part to our Raptor program because it allows us a chance to study these dinosaurs and their relationship and proximity to humans. Today, we are using our favorite Velociraptor, Blue, because of her extreme intelligence and empathy towards guests. Sorry, Bruce's been really feisty today. But Tex, let's take a moment just to re-secure the perimeter. Stand by. Copy. Okay, so as you approach, just remember, this is a wild and dangerous animal. Follow all of our instructions and everyone should remain safe. Excuse us, Vetex, is she ready? All right, your safety is our number two concern, so we have to be sure at all times that the perimeter is secure. Is that it? That's it, yes? Yes, okay, now we do have confirmation Blue is ready. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yes. Literally heard no one. Are you yes. ready to see a raptor? Yes. Excellent. All right, Vetex, let's open the gates. Eyes on me, girl. Hey, hey. Go, blue, hold, blue. Hey! That's more like, hey, and we're moving. Go. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, blue. Hold. See what I mean? She's being very feisty, but she's responding to my voice commands, so. Despite her feisty attitude, I think we're ready to begin the encounter. If my first guests would please step forward, stand right here. We're going to ask you to take as many photographs as you like. My vet techs can assist you with your devices. Our purpose is here today, folks, is to document, analyze, and observe all of Blue's behavioral patterns. Now, we are trying to focus on the non-aggressive nature of these animals. Who got wet in the splashdown zone besides me? A few of you? Good. You're very welcome. We just washed the human scent off of you, making you less desirable to a carnivore. Now, we are attempting to focus on the non-aggressive behavior of all of our dinosaurs, but specifically raptors, because they are the most intelligent. Whoa! Hey, easy. Easy, girl. It's okay. Now, we are focusing on non-aggression, but as you can see, because Blue is the alpha female, she can be a little aggressive. If she continues to snap or roar at you, don't panic. It doesn't necessarily mean she's going to attack. Now, if she does get super aggressive, she will attack anyone wearing the color red and smaller animals. In our case, that does mean small children. About your size is what I'm talking about here. I don't think she will, but she might. And if she does, I want to make sure you know so that we're not legally liable here at Jurassic World. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions about blue or any dinosaurs? No? All right. That's all right. Of course, our main focus is documentation and research. We're also very passionate about education as well. If you wish to participate, you can line up over there by the blue umbrella. That's the beginning of our queue for photo or video documentation. You can also stand off to the side and observe. Both are totally acceptable. Now, the fact that Blue is maintaining her distance, she's not getting too close to the barricade, that is an excellent sign that she's feeling more comfortable in her own territory and she doesn't want to infiltrate ours. Now, these animals are more likely to start investigating their perimeter if they're feeling hungry or if they're feeling threatened. She does, no, no, she does get a little feisty when she sees the color red. It's because red is the same color as raw meat, so to a carnivore you have to understand it triggers her mesocortical limbic system, which is, AJ, it's the brain thing. More specifically, which part of the brain? The central nervous system? Yes, you are correct. Good blue. Humans have it too, true or false? Whoa, 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 whoa! Stand down. 
easy. True. Back girl. Calm oh, down. See what I mean? If Blue gets feisty like that, just stay as calm as you can. We have already determined in our research of these animals, body language is extremely important. That's how they communicate to each other. It's body language first, and then secondarily, all the noises they make. Well, you finally decided to come over. Bruno from Brazil. Are you all by yourself? There's five people in your family? Where are they? I love that they sent you up here by yourself. Thank you, Bruno. Who's next? Good girl, Blue. Good. Now, if you're watching Blue closely, you may have already noticed she's very, very attentive to what's going on around her. She's paying attention. She's, of course, using her eyesight and her hearing, but more specifically, she is using her sense of smell. These dinosaurs can smell about 90 times better than the average human, which means she can smell prey like up to a mile away. KJ, how fast can she run? Very fast. More specifically? 60 miles per hour? Not that fast. Maybe half that. It's about 35. KJ is a, one of our vet techs studying to become a raptor handler here in the near future. It's a pretty detailed process. It takes about two days. And nobody has any questions? All right. Oh, whoa! Blue always has the same question, where is my next meal coming from? And that's mostly because she's a very, very high metabolism. Is that a T-Rex on the back of your t-shirt? Great. So Blue's probably going to notice that image and then that's probably gonna get her a little feisty. That takes, let's hold the line for just a moment. I don't want Blue to get too agitated or too aggressive. We're gonna give her some space. Folks, just stay where you are. You can come forward, but Blue's just getting a little feisty. We're gonna make sure that she, that, Blue. Easy, easy girl. Blue, hey, hey, you better not back. Come on. Come on, Blue. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Hold. Hold. Folks over here, are you okay? We didn't lose anybody. Did we raise your hand if you're still here? We lost some people, but that's okay. Are you ready for the next uh, victims? I'm sorry, family? Come on forward when you're ready. Now, of course, that is when we have to be super careful around Blue. As you can see, if she starts to examine her spatial parameters and she gets closer to the barricade, that means you're closer to those razor-sharp teeth. Not good. Are you ready? Does your t-shirt tell the truth that you're a fast runner? It does? Okay, good. Stand right there. Remember, folks, you don't have to outrun Blue to survive. You just have to outrun the person standing next to you. Good. If you're just joining us here at the Raptor Encounter, we do appreciate your participation. It's extremely helpful for our research here. Just a couple of seats. No, calm it down. Easy. That was awesome. Just a couple of safety reminders. Blue does have a tendency to attack the color red and smaller animals, like small humans. Is that why you're, you're panicking over here? Don't worry. She'll go for the smaller baby before you. I know how you feel. I cry every day I come to work. Who's next? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And that's mostly because this is actually a very unpredictable, very dangerous animal. My vet techs and I are pretty skilled at repressing our emotions, keeping all of our fear, you know, sort of subsided. And that's because Blue does, as you can see, have a very curious nature. She can pick up on what you might have in your bag. Hi, do you have any food in your backpack? Blue is extremely interested in whatever is in that, probably the red bag. You got any food in there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blue, stand down. Stand down. Good girl. Oh, yes. Oh, no, you're on your own. Is that a chicken on your shoulder? Oh, it's an owl. I get those birds confused owl all the time. No matter what species of bird, Blue might think it's a snack. I see the t-shirt work. I also see it's your birthday. Happy birthday. I really don't want this to be your last birthday. But Blue is very attracted to the bird on your shoulder. We do feed her small chickens, so she might 
you getting the wrong idea. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? It doesn't look nervous. Oh, your, your bird is saying no. Oh, oh they responded. I am very proud that you stayed calm because Blue backed away. Did you see that? And that's mostly because you didn't panic. You just stayed nice and calm. Give me a fist bump. What's your name? Leonardo? Can I get a round of applause for Leonardo, ladies and gentlemen? And the, water, the water won't kill you. The dinosaur might. But we're going to get you through this in one piece instead of pieces. It is? Are you going to go check it out? You did say mushrooms, right? Yeah. Good. As long as you didn't say chicken. Blue doesn't eat mushrooms, so I think you're secure. Well done. Yeah. If, if Dr. English has only just three mushrooms, done. When you're done with that, can you come back here and make sure Blue doesn't eat anybody? Yes, I will. Good, thank you. I think if you could handle all that, you could definitely handle being around a raptor. Whoa, whoa, why? So the closer we get to Blue's next feeding, the more likely we're going to see some more aggressive responses. If everybody could do like Leonardo and just stay as calm as possible, that is the best way to survive. And it's also a great way to keep Blue calm as well. Thank you, ma'am. Happy birthday. Who's my next victim? No, are you kidding? Is it a T-Rex? Yeah, as an animal behavioral expert, I will tell you that that does look like a baby T-Rex. Now, because Blue is a carnivore, She's probably definitely going to try to attack that. How are you feeling? You feeling a little scared? I would too if my family sent me up here by myself. We're going to get you through this though. Can you stand right here? Is your name... What's your name? Joe! Give me a high five, Joe. Teamwork, right? Teamwork keeps people alive. So you can stand as close to these like right here. Just don't go on the other side. That's about as close as you want to get. I respect that. I don't want to get any closer to Blue, but there's a higher insurance policy on me, so I have to. Uh, Joe, don't panic. Don't panic. But if I were you, I would move slowly away from her. Nice. Good job, Joe. Blue. Okay, stand down. Back, back. Come on. Uh, we're gonna move through this, ladies and gentlemen. Blue is showcasing a lot of aggression, so next family, come on forward. Vet text confirm. So just to be sure that we keep Blue on her next scheduled feeding, which is our main safety protocol and procedure, we're gonna go ahead and close our line for photos. If you're in line, you're fine. Just keep moving forward. Have those cameras ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be sure to get you all through this before Blue's next feeding. Obviously, that's the optimal word, before. You don't wanna hang out with a carnivore when it's close to feeding time. Come forward, come forward. Yes, please bring this next size human. Stand right here. Happy birthday. We'll make sure it's not your last birthday. Does anybody have any final questions before we bring Blue back for a feeding? No questions? Good. If you're currently in the lunch line, I mean the line for photos, sorry, the line for photos, remember please, Blue does have a tendency to attack the color red and smaller animals. In our case, that does mean small children. The color red is extremely interesting. We see that Blue notices red being the same color as raw meat definitely triggers her mesocortical limbic system, which is what, KJ? More specifically? Central part of the what system? The nervous system. You're gonna get it. Now, I think, I think, it's just my guess, that blue's very attracted to your hair because it's the same color as her, and she recognizes that. These animals do recognize different colors and patterns. It's one of the reasons why they're so intelligent. They have that capability to differentiate between shapes, colors, and you know, different animal, different animal patterns too. That's one of the reasons why they're such good hunters. Good oh, blue. Now I'm getting just a little concerned because blue keeps testing her spatial parameter. You see that? We allow blue a little bit of space to exercise her natural curiosity, but when she starts to test her spatial parameter, that's when she's getting closer and the razor sharp teeth are very dangerous. I love your pose. I wish your family would come up here with you. Yes, now there's a high chance that you'll survive. Ah! Whoa! Calm, girl. 
easy. Remember, Blue is a pack hunter, but right now she's all by herself. So if she sees that she's outnumbered, she'll be a little less likely to engage in a full-blown attack if she knows that she probably won't win the fight. Come forward, next family. Good, okay. Now, if you missed your chance to get some photo documentation with Blue, we're gonna bring her back for a quick feeding right now and then carry on with the demonstration as soon as she is satiated. Thank you so much for offering a hand. She'll probably take it. She'd love a good hand sandwich especially being a carnivore. Good girl, Blue, easy, easy. Final photo right there, all by yourself. I'm very impressed. Now, as the last photo, she might actually think that you're food. I'm not joking. That takes standby to initiate that food address. Oh, oh, easy, easy. You know what, guys? I would run, I would go right now. Go, 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 go. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for your participation. The best part is that I'm gonna eat. Oh, I took some of the eggs. Go, go, go. Hey, eyes on me. Come on. Good move. Easy. Good girl. Back. Good girl, Blue. Good girl. We hope you enjoyed your time with our Velociraptor today. Your participation in the Raptor program is vital for the safety and training of our animals. We are thrilled to bring you the planet's most exciting and up-close dinosaur encounters. Only here at Jurassic World.